Hey everyone, welcome to Cam Keyframe Presents 12 Days of Christmas 2021, where I create tutorials 12 days in a row and give away the project files for free on my Patreon page. The link is in the description down below. And today we're finishing up with day number 12. And in today's last video of this 12 Days of Christmas series, we're going to animate um, this arrow, this fireworks moving up uh, nice and fitting with this end of the year. So this we're going, we see kind of the stars coming by, we see the arrow kind of moving up and down and the stick is going to the front and in the back. We have the smoke and it's kind of uh, the, the pattern, everything looks nice. So we're going to animate this. We have this clean composition here where nothing is happening. So we're going to start here in this clean composition. We have all, all the shapes here. We have the background, we're going to lock that. We have our stars here, it's a composition. We're gonna come back to that later. We have the smoke layer. We have the stick in the back here. And we have the stick in the front as well. We are, have two separate layers. We're going to come back to that later as well. Then we have the main shape. It's just this white arrow shape. The pattern on top of that. And the shadow below the cap here. And we have the cap itself. So first we're going to parent everything together. So let's uh, parent everything, uh, but not the stars, to the arrow itself. So arrow. So this arrow now controls everything. Everything is sticking to that, which is fine. Then we're going to, uh, let's add our movement to this pattern here first, because I want this to move down like this. So we're going to go to position, uh, click, and go a bit further in time here. And we're going to drag this, and I want this shape that's above here to perfectly match up with this one here. So I'm going to um, press Command R to open my uh, rulers, and I'm going to click and drag, and I've, you can see I've already made uh, some guides here. You can create guides, so I'm going to Zoom in here and put this guide here on this corner right there. And then I'm going to position this one like this. Zoom back in and then put this on that corner like that. Turn off the guides and the rulers. So now we have this shape moving downwards perfectly to that same spot. And we're going to uh, alt click or option click on our uh, key, um, stopwatch here and type in loop out like this. And now it's going to keep going. Uh, until infinity and beyond even so now that's we can make it a bit faster so now we get this kind of turning effect but it's still needs to be of course only visible within this um, arrow shape here so i'm gonna go uh, to the arrow duplicate it press command d place it above our pattern here and go to track mat none alpha mat arrow 2 so it's only visible within that arrow shape there Nice. Okay, so that's done. Uh, cool. Turn this down. Uh, so that's that's one. Then this shadow, we don't need to animate anything at all because it's just there. This cap and this arrow itself, we're going to have to give this some wiggle because in here you can see that it's moving up and down the arrow. Let's turn off this crazy smoke. Uh, the arrow is moving up and down and a little bit to the left and right, but it's like jittery to the left and right. It's kind of and a bouncy a little bit and up and down is like really big waves, big moves. So we're going to do that by going to our arrow, open that up. And if you go to the P for position, you can see I have an X and a Y position. And on like this uh, smoke, if I go to P, we have just this position. And what I've done here is right click on the position. I'm going to show you here uh, on position. You can right click on position and then click on separate dimensions and then it will create your X and your Y position. So you have the X left to right and the Y up and down. Now I want this to be separate from each other because I want to give the X and the Y a different wiggle uh, uh, expression. So I'm going to go to my X position and going to click option on click on the keyboard uh, on the stopwatch and I'm going to type in wiggle wiggle in the parentheses and then I'm going to um, go to uh, let's say 20 and 20 you can see what's happening so if if I do this then everything is wiggling oh um, let's do that undo that I'm going to first um, parent this arrow to pattern here to the arrow the, the mask here it's called this mat parent that to the arrow as well so now let's do that again wiggle and then 20 and 20 you can see that now it's really jittery if I turn the 20 down to let's say 2 you can see that it's a lot less so it's still jittery but it's not not so big anymore like it's like vibrating kind of with this was what we want but it can be a little bit more so let's put it at 5 here so now we get this kind of speeding through 
the air vibe and then for the y position i want to do the same thing here let's so wiggle wiggle and then in here i'm going to go if i do 20 20 again it's going to do the same thing but then up and down but i want these kind of really big movements up and down so we're going to turn this way up to let's say uh so the first one I'm going to put down to 1 because I want it to be really slow. And the second one, let's put it at 300. So now we get this really big wave. So the second valuable val value here is how big the movement should be. And the first one is how fast it is going. So 1 and 300 looks perfect. And now we got this. So that's fine. So that's done. The arrow. And let's give this cap some wiggle as well. We're going to place the keyframe or the anchor point below here with your pen behind tool here place it here because I want this to kind of bounce a little bit like this like it's on top of it like it's a little bit loose or something so we're going to do the same thing here for but now on the rotation we're going to add a wiggle effect so uh, option click on the rotation and we're going to type in wiggle and then uh, let's go 60 and 1 so now the wiggle is really intense uh, but it's kind of just a little jittery like a little bit nice yeah not too much so this looks great. We already have the movement done. Let's do the stick now. So the stick, what it needs to happen here, as you can see, that it moves from left to right. So we have this movement from left to right, and then it disappears behind the arrow. So what we're going to do is go to the stick front and the stick back, give this a position. But first, I'm going to go to my arrow and open this up. Go to transform and position and the X, Y position and open these two up. I'm going to click on this little button here to disable the um, expression right now because it's like really jittery and I can't work with that. So I'm going to disable them for now and I'm going to turn them back on later. So uh, for this stick front and back, when I go to the first frame here, click on a position, make a keyframe for that. And we're actually going to place that over here to the left on the outs just on the outside here like that and then we're going to go in here uh, let's just make this like command shift right arrow one two times to make it like 20 frames further to the right here and then do the same thing again and then copy these two keyframes so now it's going from the left to the right and you can see and i'm going to give this all just some random some basic easy ease yeah and then i'm gonna kind of drag this out because it can take a bit longer yeah like that nice you can also drag both of the if you select all of them and then go to the last one hold option you can click and drag and kind of scale them proportionately so make them a little bit faster like this so it's going to the in and out and then give this a um, loop out expression. So uh, option click on the stopwatch loop out. There you go. Select everything, press command A, mem command C to copy it and then do the same thing here and command V to paste the expression. So now it keeps going like that forever, but the stick shouldn't be visible when it's kind of behind it, right? So this stick on the front, we're going to open shift T to also open the opacity. And on the first frame here, I want this to be visible. So click 100%. On this one, click again. And on this one, click again. And on the middle one here, we're going to make it zero. Boom. So from this point out, only uh, the back one is visible. So this is one I, right now, it's zero. But it's kind of fading up because this one is 100 here again. So we're going to select all three of these, right click, and then toggle hold keyframe. And what that does is that when you... Um, arrive at this point here, then only at this keyframe, boom, it snaps to zero. And below here, before here, it's just 100. So then it's all the way here, it's zero. And then at this keyframe here, it's 100 again. And of course, give this also a loop out expression. So now we got this stick moving from left to right and kind of moving in the back, looks like. Only thing now we need to do is to put the smoke above the stick here. So when, it's, when the stick is at the back, it's also uh, at the back of the smoke which give it, gives it even a more 3d effect so that it looks great then the smoke we're going to add a effect to it because this is just this really big weird shape here and we're going to add an effect called wave warp you might have heard of it wave warp distort wave warp and this instantly looks awful because we're going to need a really really big wave 
to kind of get this smoke effect going. So we're going to go to our wave height and make that like 45, really big. The width can be like 400, like really big. So now we get this effect here. And then the direction needs to be down, of course. So put it at 180. So now we already get this idea here, as you can see in this one. Only the speed needs to be a little bit bigger. So let's make the speed three. So there you go. So that looks awesome. And then for pinning, we're going to go to top edge. So it's kind of stuck at, that, at the top there, right there. And then this one is parented to the arrow. So if I move the arrow, then it's parented to it. It's fine. And for the arrow, we're going to open it up, go back to transform, and then turn on the expression again here. Turn them back on. So now we got this movement again. So that's the basic idea of it. The only thing we need to animate right now is the stars. So by animating the stars, we're going to have this uh, arrow actually go through some because now there is no background moving downwards. So it's not actually moving up. And here you can see you get the idea that it's moving up through the stars, sorry, sky. So we're going to open this composition here. And I, it's just this same square. And I have all of these stars here. And I put them all at the top here because we're going to start up here for position. Click on stopwatch and then go down here somewhere and then all drag them all down here. And then we're going to give this no easing. Uh, the only thing we're going to do is give this a uh, loop out again. So option click loop out and then nice. And I'm going to right click on position and I'm going to copy expression only and then select all of these. Oh, whoa all of these and then press command V. So it pastes, it pastes that um, uh, expression on all of these positions. So now it keeps on going and we're going to uh, like this and I'm going to drag these ones out a little bit. Oh. So it give them a bit more spacing and here you can see kind of visualize how it needs to look, um, how you want this to be distributed over the screen, kind of like this make it look random as random as possible of course always uh, maybe here this there and this one over there so now you get this nice starry sky shape but now everything moves at the exact same speed so now we're going to, going to randomly drag out or in these keyframes a little bit some can be really fast some can be the same like that. So maybe so now we have, if you start here, we have this kind of cool randomized starry um, shapes uh, moving into the screen. And now here, if you want this to go faster, you can, of course, select, uh, press tilde key to f highlight it, uh, uh, to full screen the screen, select all of these last, whoops, these last keyframes here. Like that, oh, this one as well. And you can kind of drag that in to make everything a bit faster like that. And I'm going to cut this off right here, all the layers. So pressing option in bracket and then only in bracket to make them all start over there. And then we have this nice starry sky. Uh, pretty easy. Just a few keyframes, not that many, just a few little expressions uh, to help you along. And this will keep going on until infinity uh, because of that loop out expression. Uh, so that's it for this one. Um, everyone, I want to thank you for watching this whole series. I hope you had a great Christmas and uh, I wish you all the best in 2022 and a happy new year. All right, that wraps up day number 12 of this 12 days of Christmas 2021. If you would like to download the project files for this video, head on over to the description box down below and click on the link for the Patreon page. There I will upload all of the project files for free. And while you're there, maybe consider subscribing to the Patreon channel as well for even more cool stuff. Yeah.